Здравствуйте, товарищи, and welcome back to another episode of our Workers and Resources Soviet Republic mini Let's Play. I hope you enjoyed that previous episode and are getting a little excited about our glorious Soviet Republic. If you are, you know what to do with this video as well. Let me know by dropping a like and a comment down below. It does make a very big difference. Uh, now, I will say that this episode is actually being recorded more or less back to back with the previous one. I was very excited about getting our agricultural sector set up. So any... Um, feedback you left for the previous episode. I haven't read up on it just yet, but as always, I do promise I will uh, because I like to see what you guys are thinking, what you might want to see and adapting accordingly. So uh, just a bit of a recap. Last session, we got our uh, power set up. We've got a coal mine providing coal ore to here for it to be processed into proper coal that is then turned to power at the uh, party power coal power plant. Uh, we have a small residential sector over here, our first of many blocks to come with a kindergarten and a school here. We've got a store down here as well for groceries and a, and a little bit of a bus network set up here to ferry people over to work in this area. Meanwhile, all the way here, pretty far away from our... Uh, I don't know, I guess we'll make this maybe our industrial sector, but pretty far away from that we have our uh, agrarian sector over here. A couple of farms we've put down. We are getting an agro farm that's going to look after and, and tend to all of these fields. And we also have a little uh, grain storage area that's going to store up any grain once we get it. Uh, and we're hoping to also get a, uh, well, a couple of things. I was thinking about this between recording sessions. We're going to do a couple of things over here. So not only are we going to actually get grain over here, but we're also going to have livestock um, pre prepared, I suppose is the word to use, <laughs> ominous word. I'm uh, going to have livestock uh, up and running over here because we can't actually transport meat. Um, I'd like to have the livestock and the slaughterhouse over here uh, to transport meat from this area to, you know, our far off area to actually deliver meat to the people at the uh, grocery store, but we can't do that. So instead it'll be uh, crops and a livestock farm that uses crops to bring about livestock and we're going to move livestock and crop all the way back to this area probably a little away from the residential sector probably somewhere up over here we're going to set up a uh just to show you guys what i'm thinking we're going to set up a food farm or sorry a food factory that turns crop into food a distillery that turns crop into alcohol and a slaughterhouse that turns livestock into meat through obvious means. I'll get all that set up over here, a little bus stop as well, so people can come here to work. And it'll be a nice little um, working unit, I think, on this little, like, I think it's a little hilltop up here. Should be nice, a little far away from the residential area, because it's going to be a little polluty, I think. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the plan. So the first thing I actually need to do, I realize that the uh, warehouse doesn't have room to stock livestock. So if you take a look at the uh, warehouse, which hopefully I can find pretty quickly. this I'm still getting used to navigating these menus. So warehouse can, can store all sorts of stuff, except not livestock. So we can't go with the warehouse. Instead, we're going to remove the warehouse. I'm gonna do that and gotta hit play for a split second there. And we're gonna replace it with the um, cargo train station. And what that does is it, uh, at any given time, it can't store too much crop or uh, livestock, but it will pull from any nearby warehouse. And uh, of course, the grain storage counts as a warehouse and it can store a fair bit of, uh, of, of crop. And the livestock farm itself can also store a fair bit of livestock. You can see up to 15 ton can be stored. So plenty of room there. So let's go ahead and replace our uh, little warehouse here with the cargo train station. Lay it out like so. We'll have a factory connection down over here. Uh, hopefully enough room back here for the, the tracks to actually continue. Uh, so let's do something like that, I think. And if it starts getting very rough to get the tracks laid out and stuff, I will be doing a little bit of editing. Because again, I think I mentioned this last episode, but laying down roads and tracks can get a little janky is, I think, the word I've been using. I'm going to maintain that can get a little janky. Just takes a couple moments to, to focus and, and get it done right. And uh, apart from that, pretty fun. Uh, so we're going to get the livestock farm over here. Unfortunately, we can't get like a direct connection. I mean, maybe... No, we, we'll have to use uh, a, a road vehicle to transport crop from the grain storage over to our livestock farm. But I think we can put the livestock farm over here. Uh, make an easy connection to that train station. Don't want to... Well, let's flatten the land a little bit first. As we've learned, as I like to think I've learned, it's always a good idea to flatten the train a little bit before putting a large network of buildings down. 
that's something the game is really particular about and can get really annoying to deal with. All right, let's go ahead and put this down over here. It'll just flatten the back area. I'm fine with that. A little bit of space. Hmm. Can I flatten up here? There we go. That was causing... That was too bumpy for it to even suggest flattening, which I find hilarious. All right, that should be... That's the food factory. Livestock farm. Should be good enough. Yeah, excellent. We can line it up right over here. Get a little bit of space so that road can lead in multiple directions. Flatten the land. And... Try to get it as nice looking as possible here. Do that. All right, let's go ahead and look at the infrastructure and get those factory connections happening. Oh. Well, that's messy. That's very messy. Fix that real quick over here. All right, there we go. All right. Not the end of the world, not the end of the world. Should be able to sort it out easily enough. Just had to be a little bit further down, I think. Or like so, maybe. And that should do the trick. Uh, nudge you over like that. Okay, that should do the trick. Beautiful. Ish. Beautiful is the wrong word, but it works, is what I'm going for. All right, excellent. Let's get these roads set up meanwhile. Let's get you uh, shirt like that. Let's get you like that. Excellent. We'll have these guys connect, but I think I have to do the uh, the tracks first. Uh, so we'll have, this is the cargo station. We'll have a little passenger station somewhere up over here as well, because uh, this livestock farm does need people here. So we will need to get people over here. And I don't want to do another housing unit. I'll, I'll get people coming in via train. So we'll get ourselves a train station set up as well. And as last time, we're going to spend a little bit of time paused as I lay everything out and then uh, finally see things in motion. Um, so we'll just do a small train platform, I think, over here. Uh, I'd like it to be... I'd like it to be a little centralized because I want to make sure people can walk from the train platform to here. And if I decide to expand in this direction, I want to make sure that's a possibility as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and put you down... I think like over here should be okay. Gives enough room for these tracks to move up and then connect. Uh, maybe let's flatten this land a little bit. Because there's uh, a couple of parts to setting up a uh, a rail network, as as you can imagine. Go ahead and flatten this nicely over here. We need to have like a train depot and everything, so it's quite a bit to do. Want to make sure it'll all fit nicely here. All right, so that's that. Hopefully these tracks will go out. Yep. So. Small platform over here. Nothing too crazy. Make sure there's room. The back there. Okay, hopefully that's good enough. Then our uh, electrified railway. We're going to use electrical rail because we're cool like that. It's the future. Uh, so the plan is, I should probably tell you guys what I have planned. The plan is to kind of go up this way, rotate. Try to avoid this bumpiness over here. We might actually like snake through the bumpiness or snake past it up this way. Try to avoid this bumpiness as well. So, you know, maybe we'll try to go up like this around and over to like this area and uh, lay out all of our processing up there. That's the hope at least. So that's what we're laying out towards. Um, I do like the natural curves. This is a game, uh, I always like seeing good smooth curving. Smooth curving? Curve smoothing? What's the word I'm looking for? Do that. Obviously, double track because we can. And over here, we have a pretty straight path. Yeah, we'll, we'll regroup after the bend or something. Okay, cool. So that works for me. Let's go ahead and get the roads. Sorry, the regular roads set up. Uh, we can do something like that. Building in the way. That's fine. We'll do that, and then hopefully you can go up like so, and you can go down like so. Beautiful. Okay, that's actually a really nice set of connections, and this is fine. We'll probably have to put like a, uh, not a bus stop, but like a gas, uh, gas station over here, and maybe even a road vehicle depot. We want to get the mud road set up over here as well. Let's make sure we don't forget that. Set you out this way, and get you up like, of course it's... Just a little off. Like that. Excellent. And let's get, um... Let's get our gas station 
Well, let's get our vehicle depot set up like so, maybe. Because again, it's going to be mainly like farm vehicles and stuff. So we can do, we can do this. I want to leave a little bit of room for another field or so, if possible, actually. Just trying to be cognizant of that. Let's put the vehicle depot over here. Because you're going to help... You're going to populate with trucks that'll help move the food from... Or the crop from here to here. From our crop storage to our livestock farm. So that's there. And then the gas station is necessary to make sure that you don't run out of gas. Can I put the gas station over here? Precariously close to the trains running by? Yep, yeah, I can. No point leaving a gap. Beautiful. Beautiful. Very densely packed. Very efficient. I like it. Uh, and let's go ahead and get the electrified railway. What I'd want, what i like to do is... I think we'll be able to. What I'd like to do is get the train depot back over here. Don't know if that road will be reachable. Oh yeah, you know, here's what we'll do. Let's get you, like, so need to do a little bit more flattening over here, so let's go ahead and do that. Again, I'm going to preempt any nonsense as far as flattening is concerned. I'm going to try to, at least, by just over-flattening. We've got the money. We've got the money, Tovarishi. It'll be okay. No, let's make sure I'm putting down the right structures. All right, so we can do something like this, I suppose. It'll just flatten the back area, so that's good. Come on. Oh, this is where this is where the game kind of kills me. It's like, come on. You know what I want. You know exactly what I want, game. Let's do that. Flat in the back area. I could get a construction office to help reduce... Or rather, help remove the cost of, uh, of flattening entirely. But, like I said last time, I think I'm a little too lazy for that. All right, we're good like so. Hopefully this is flat enough. A little bit of flattening needed over here. Not the end of the world. Oh, don't. Don't do this to me, game. Don't do this to me. <laughs> Alright, so we can get up to here fine. And then can we get a little bend over here? Okay. Gonna have to flatten this a bit better, I guess. And this... Ah, there we go. I was just about to say, maybe I'll do a quick little cut here, but I might not have to. I'd like to get a smooth curve here if possible. Because I am a little particular like that. Looks like I won't be able to, unfortunately. Alright, fine. Cut my losses. Building in the way. What the hell do you mean by that? How can there be a building in the way of my tracks? There we go. Just had to do them the other way around, I guess. Again, it's an early access game, just as a reminder. So uh, there might be a couple of issues here and there. Don't mind them. It's not the end of the world. Um, all right. So you... Too big a hill. Fair enough. Basically, I want to send our passenger trains up this way and our cargo trains up this way. The other option would be to set a loop up somewhere over here so that a cargo train could go this way, loop around, and then come back here. But that seems a little wasteful. We have some room back here to play. So I'd like to use that. Uh, maybe we get a little bit of flattening done over here. Yeah, you can see just how much of a gap there is over here. That's why that's why the game's like, no, we can't really curve the tracks that much. Completely understandable. Go ahead and do that. Maybe that's a bit more of a acceptable acceptable uh, adjustment over here for the game. Yeah, maybe. Slowly flatten it out a little bit. There we go. Come on, baby. Don't be difficult now. Oh, of course, you have to be difficult. Let's see what we can do. Too sharp a turn. If I rotate like so. No. Nope. Alright. I think I am going to uh, do a little cut over here so I can get all this organized and you don't, you don't have to watch me struggle with tracks. Sometimes I swear it just takes a couple moments of silence and, and focus to get this done. That took like 30 seconds to figure out. So we've got our nice little tracks over here looking quite nice too. And again, very densely packed, which I like. Uh, not wasting any space. And over here, what I can do is I could actually get the road to go. What I'm thinking is I could get a road crossing because you want to have access to, uh, to everything in case fires start getting set off. So I'm just going to try and set this up a little bit. Uh, get you up to here, and then get you 
up like here. It's a safe enough area to cross, I think. And what we'll need to do is actually flatten the land a bit, perhaps. Yeah, it looks like it. Go ahead and flatten you a bit to this. There we go. There we go. Get rid of you. Such a bumpy land. Such a bumpy terrain. There we go. So I can do, hopefully, something like that. And... And... No. No. Okay. Alright. Okay, game. Maybe... A little bit of... A little bit of... Bam! There we go. <laughs> like I said, janky is the word I will use. Now, back to our trains. Back to our trains. I'm so excited. I feel like a... I feel like a child. Alright, let's go ahead and get our passenger tracks moving up. Again, what we want to do is we want to go up and around. Maybe... I, mean, I wonder if we can actually thread through this. Should be able to thread through that. Or do we want to go past it and go up? Because I'd like to go up this way, ultimately. Well, that's a huge straight track that I can actually pull. And I would love nothing more than to not have to spend any money adjusting up and down. Alright, well, since that's the dream, we're going to blueprint it. Because let's be realistic here, it's not going to work out. So we'd like to go from here... Up. Where, where'd it go? Where'd that magic line go? I should have just spent the money on it. Oh, no, wait, there it is. Okay, great, 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 great. So somewhere up to like here-ish. Okay, not even going to go that far, I don't think, but I'm just marking my straight line. And I can go side by side with it. Yes. Beautiful. All right. So that is where we're hoping the track will end up. Let's build backwards, actually. Don't want to want to build that backwards, right? If I were to rotate and were to go. So this is where it gets a little tough. Oh, okay. We could go along this ridge, maybe. Ooh. Saw the green. Saw the green. I wasn't the only... There it is. How far can we go with it? Pretty far. Okay. Okay. Can we go... Nope. Our accompanying path has some trouble over here. Alright, fair enough. Get rid of that. I hate that when you blueprint, you still have to bulldoze the land. Actually, you know what? Maybe I could... Yeah, I could do that instead. Damn it, party. <laughs> Maybe we just take a straight path instead, then. Flatten things a little bit on our way down. Would make for a nicer path, I think. From here to here. A decent-ish connection. And then from here to here, looks like we have a decent connection as well. Not the straightest, which bothers me a bit. There's a bit of a weird bend. But I can make that work. I can make that work. Let's see. I do... That. Okay, we should be able to flatten for that. And if I do... This. We should be able to flatten for that. Alright, so let's go ahead and auto-build. Get all these tracks laid down. Please, dear God, tell me you're gonna work. Of course you're not gonna work. Come on. Alright, gonna have a little cut here again. And yet again, just like 30 seconds of finagling a little bit. Flattened the train, got that track done. Now I do notice that I actually laid the track all the way up to here. Went a little bit further than I was expecting. But you know what, we might want to use this um, to load up coal and stuff anyway. So this might not be so bad. That, that little oversight, unintended I guess, was not uh, the end of the world. A little bit more money spent than maybe I would have liked to. And over here, we want to make sure that you guys can... Go around and uh, connect. I wonder if I would have preferred to do something like this. Connect fresh out the gate, so to speak. Sure, why not? Let's do that. Go ahead and cancel. I wonder if I get money back for Capricorn. Oh. <laughs> oh, would I? Why would I? Alright, good enough though, that's fine. So, that's the cargo, a little bit of a weird start, a slow start, but hopefully once we get here we can really accelerate down there, slow down a bit, take this turn, accelerate all the way over here, and that's where we'll uh, drop things off. Alright, really liking this layout, really liking this layout. Uh, what we do need to organize 
is and this is this is where if, if you follow me on Twitter, you will have seen my tweet from a couple of days ago now, literally talking about I wasn't sure if I was playing a city builder anymore or if I was trying to learn how rail networks work. Because I need to lay out uh, crosses, like crossings, and I need to lay out uh, semaphores. And for the life of me, I sometimes cannot figure out how these things work. So right after our passenger trains and our cargo trains get onto the track, I want to have a space where we can actually crisscross. And get a little crossing going on. I think that's long enough, right? So that if they find themselves on the wrong side of the tracks, they can fix it. Um, I'd like you to be the same length, please. Just to help with my marginal desire for perfection. Okay, good. <laughs> marginal, I said. So that's one place where they can adjust their placement. Now, if somebody who's watching knows how rail networks are actually laid out and wants to educate me, absolutely feel free. Because I, I'd love to learn. I think it's fascinating. Uh, but I just can't wrap my head around it. So that's one space where they'll crisscross. And we'll have another little crisscross space somewhere over here where our uh, other platforms and all are. So let's start laying those platforms out. What I'd like to do is separate, I think, cargo and, and passenger. This is nice, I think. So we'll get a large train platform here because I think this will be like our central area, right? Like all of the, the city and stuff is going to be here, I think. And this is where you go to get on the train to go far off. And far off, again, if you forget the scale of the map here, is massive. Massive. <laughs> Insane. All right. Uh, so yeah, this is a regular train platform probably pop it down somewhere over here okay uh, here's here's where it'll get interesting again okay too big eh? hmm all right time to flatten this land like there's no tomorrow gonna get expensive but we want to make sure it's not gonna get in our way that'd be very painful if we start laying things out and it constantly like just breaks connections uh, the other thing we have to do is actually uh, build a little p power supply system for our uh, railway track as well. All right. All right. And that's that's not going to be too much trouble. I just have to replace one of these straight uh, straightaways with um, with a different kind of building. All right. So that's that's pretty good and flat, pretty decent. Hopefully, we'll have an easy easy. Easy time. Get it. There we go. Okay. Good, good, good. Keep an eye out for these um, paths. This is going to be important. And we'll flatten this out to match. All right. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful, I say, as I rip the green out from the beautiful earth. Turn it into this brown. All right. So turn you around like so. And this is where our say cargo will be because I'd like our cargo to drop off and load up over here and then turn around and maybe go all the way down to Carabadag where they've got a couple of rail tracks and I can export you know food and alcohol and live and, and meat not livestock but meat so okay let's go ahead and get um also want to want to get passengers up here okay there's room for passengers okay so step one Okay, smoother than I expected. All right. Cargo train station again, of course. Now, this is going to be interesting. Going to be interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and flatten the train a bit more. We're going to want to put some buildings down over here where uh, so that we can use factory connections right from the actual train station into like the distillery and the food factory and even the uh, livestock processing plant. I couldn't think of the actual word. Still can't remember it. The slaughterhouse. There it is. Uh, so this is a nice spot, I think. It should be an easy connection. Let's drop you right there. Let's go ahead and get our workspaces planned out first. So we'll want to get the food factory, which is pretty big. I think the distillery is the smallest of the buildings. And then there is the slaughterhouse, which is also pretty small. Okay. In that case, let's first figure out where we're going to put our big train platform. Because I'd like everything to be walking distance if possible. Uh, if I could put this train platform like right down over here, that'd be nothing like it. That'd be amazing, actually. 
However, that would block some of these uh, paths. So what if I do something like this? Which I should be able to pull off. Let's find out. Can I pull these tracks over like so? A little bit of flattening required. But in theory... Ooh. Looks like there's a space there. Alright, well let's go ahead and do... Let's pretend it's going to work. Let's prematurely place tracks down and pretend it's going to work. Right? Oh yeah, okay, this is looking good. Yeah, this is looking great. Okay, hey, amazing! <laughs> I did not think it'd be that easy. Alright, so let's go ahead and place you down like so. It'll flatten the area up top a little bit, which is fine. Uh, we'll do you like that. Hopefully that's enough room for all the buildings I want. Drop you down right over here. Minimal flattening required. Save a little bit of money. Okay, so far so good. Let's see if the tracks line up nicely. And they do. Beautiful. Let's see if the roads... Well, here we're going to have the streetlights and stuff. Um, so we'll have a road going down like so, I think. Okay. Maybe not so horribly angled. So like so. Connect you like that, and you like that, and we should be able to pull over like this. Now, are the tracks connected? They're not. Go ahead and connect you. Beautiful. And we'll get um, the road going over. Alright, I'm liking this, I'm liking this. Because what I'm going to do is, now we're going to put down our working buildings. Our food factory, for example, can go over here. I think, uh, not a bad idea. Oh, you know what? Damn, can't. Factory connections can't go over roads. So that road will need a little bit of adjusting. Okay, because we can do this still. Something like that. Alright, cool. And then what we'll do is we'll put the distillery up over here, I think, because again, it's the smallest of the buildings. So the distillery can go up over here. Beautiful little connection over here. Uh, we got the factory connection as well. So that, I think, works nicely. Alright, that'll turn crop into alcohol. Our food factory, meanwhile, will be back over here. A little bit of an angle, but a nice connection nonetheless. Room for the tracks to continue on, I think, as well as necessary. Uh, or I can put you over here. Yeah. I think the, uh, the slaughterhouse is a bit smaller. It'll fit nicer in the curved track areas and stuff. But yeah, let's go ahead and flatten the land here a bit. Okay, that should be... That should be good enough. And our slaughterhouse... Really small, actually. Smaller than I remembered. Uh, could go over where? See, the road is going to come down and cross over this way. Uh, so why don't we do it like this? Let's put you down, like, say, here... Yeah, okay, I, I, I think I know what I'm going to do. Flatten you like that, alright. Pop you down over here. Go ahead and get our road set up, so it'll go across the tracks. Okay, if you want to go this way, then we can do that as well. Go across the tracks, you'll connect over here. And then it'll go over and around. Well, hold on, I want to make sure that this is flat this. There we go. Alright. Not the end of the world. Didn't flatten this as much as I should have earlier, I think. But, we're fine. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of work. Alright, cool. Okay. So, you come in down here, you go around, you go to where you're working. We need to get a bus stop down over here, so let's go ahead and I think it can just be a small bus stop, if I'm honest. Go ahead and get a small bus platform, rather. A stop. I keep calling it a bus stop. Uh, hell, I could even put it down over here. Easy access to everything. The distillery is a little far away, but not the end of the world, I don't think. I wish the footprint was a little bit smaller and I could have fit it up here. No, it's fine. We'll, we'll go ahead and put you down. Go ahead and put you down over here, I think. 
Yeah, easy walking. Very easy walking, I think. Uh, I could do... Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and do this. Sorry. I know uh, sometimes I seem like I'm overthinking it, but I just want things to be nice as possible. So that's our bus stop. We also want a gas station here to make sure that we don't ever run out of gas in the middle of nowhere here. And we'll put the gas station down... We're down over here. Because I have a plan for the road out this way. Put the gas station down... Just like that. Beautiful. And what we'll do is we need to demolish a little sector over here. Where I'm going to place our rail, like, electrifier, basically. Uh, we need to have, there we go, the electrical connection. Needs a road connection in case it catches fire. We should be able to place it. Come on. Saw you turn colors. Okay. Just need to demolish a little bit more. Fine. Fine. There we go. Uh, unfortunately, it's not going to be straight. Close enough to it. Oh, please don't be wonky with my tracks. Alright. Works well enough. Alright, cool. So that should be fine. And then the road connection is over here, going up to there. Okay. And the other thing I wanted to get is a electrical substation from here, which will power everything. Yes, beautiful. Go ahead and rotate you so you're facing the right direction. Nothing else can, more or less, nothing else can fit over here. So, you know, might as well put this down. All right, beautiful. That does power all of these buildings. Excellent. Let's go ahead and get our uh, wiring set up. We do have a couple of outputs over here. We can pull this one down like so, and I think it'll have to split in a couple different ways eventually anyway, because I need like a loading dock for coal and stuff. So what I'll do is I'll pull you down in here. Hmm. I'll pull you down to say here, and then we'll get our medium voltage switch over here. I'm going to get a power transformer, but no, let's go ahead and hook you up like that, hook you up like that, and hook you up like that. We'll probably have another switch at some point, or we'll just pull another line from up there. We've got so many of them available, but okay, this should provide power to the track. It'll provide power to all of these buildings. We have a bus stop. We have everything we need. I need to finish off my road connection over here. This beautiful little road connection will hopefully... Nope. <laughs> of course not. Why would it work? Go ahead and do that, and then this stretch... I need a little bit of straightening. Okay. Oh, I love it. I love it. Not too bad. A little bit of a bump over here. Not too bad at all. Uh, and so buses will pick people up over here and then drive over and drop them off over here. Spread them around where they work. People will get on the train platform. The train will take them all the way down over here very quickly. And they'll get to work down there as well. Okay, beautiful. Now, one last thing I need. One last crossing over here, I think. I think that's how this works, right? Because these trains are going to come out over here, and we want to make sure that they can switch what track they're on if they need to. Now, the question is, do I want to put it right over here? So that it can happen early on. Crossing not allowed, says the game. But here it is allowed. Hmm, I don't like that. I don't like that it's not symmetrical because that means I missed something. Cancel that and crash you. Okay. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me again. There we go. Okay. So let's go ahead and do the crossing after the electrical uh, connection. Maybe do it over here. And the other thing is, like, do I want it long or do I want it short? I think I'd want it longer, right? Because you want to have a train to be able to stay out to the side. The other thing that I need to consider is, um... Uh... Like, sometimes a track will have... What are you doing, game? Why are you doing this to me? Go from there, maybe? Nope. 
there we go good enough uh sometimes you'll have like a track that goes off to the side so a train can wait out in the side in the wing um i don't know if this is a kind of example where you will need that but we'll find out i i suppose this is going to be interesting uh we also want some semaphores down so let's say that this is this way so if you're coming from this side your light is green you can keep going as long as there's no train over there and i think we want one on this side as well not on the switch right and then on this side we want it facing that way i think this is how this works we'll find out so this is a huge block of track. I might need another crossing there. And then back over here. Again, we want to go... Bam. And... Like that. And then over here. And you can see these little pink slips. They kind of indicate where a different block of track starts. And what the semaphore is supposed to do is it's supposed to make sure that only one train is at a block at any given time. So that nobody dies. Alright. In this game, nobody actually dies, but uh, accidents happen. Well, actually, no. Accidents don't happen. Trains just don't go anywhere. Alright. So there's our entire rail network set up. And uh, it looks like... I feel like... I can't believe I'm going to do this. Looks like everything's on track, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and let everything get built out over here. The roads are being constructed. The rail network's being constructed. We have our train depot and everything getting built up. This is quite nice, actually. Let's go ahead and see the situation over here. Bus platform's done. Gas station's done. Tra train warehouse and platform both done. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? In my hurry, air quotes, got to put these connections down. But thankfully, they do work nicely. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Continue the construction. So that's all happening. This is all happening down here. This stuff is getting done as well, and you, we need to tell you to actually build using rubles, because I blueprinted them out. Same goes for our storage here. Just use the rubles. Excellent. Excellent. Alright. Feeling good. Feeling real good. Um, let's get some more housing down over here. I'm a little worried about the symmetry of this area. I'm worried that it's not going to be symmetrical. And, like, I'll accept it, but I'll definitely be annoyed by it. Like, I'd like to place you over here, roughly. That road needs to go up where this light is. Which means that school is going to stand out a little bit. It's fine. We'll figure something out for it. It might drive me wild. Just a heads up. Uh, let's go ahead and get the flat set up. I'm wondering if I can destroy these... Uh, wire connections and get them coming in in some other direction. Let's try it. Let's see. Go up this way. Is there a gap here? You can, like, go here. Then you can go through here. And then... That's too sharp an angle, but we can do this. And that. Okay, cool. So that should give us enough room to get some of these blocks set up over here. Can't build you to infrastructure. Great. This whole footprint thing really gets on my nerves. Sometimes. Okay, this this works. Alright, fine. There's one. And there is... Ooh, okay, you know what? This might actually work out. There's two, and here is three, hopefully. Yes. Close. Enough. I like it. <laughs> I like it, as long as it works. All right, let's go ahead and get the footpaths laid out. Uh, we can connect you. We can connect... I uh... want to make sure everyone has access to the statue, obviously. Go ahead and... Wreck you there, and there we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. A line down this way. Hopefully able to connect to the road. Doesn't look like it. That's unfortunate. What about you? You can connect to the road there, so you should be able to pull down... Like... 
so sure and let's get you connected here as well I'd like things to be like curvy and pretty that's not that's not pretty it's curvy but it ain't pretty all right screw it Soviet Republic only has so much time to waste, and I don't think I can run a road back. Oh, nah. I, unfortunately, that statue is, uh, uh, the word isn't in the way, but it's, uh, it's not allowing me for, for some great reason, obviously. For some great purpose, it's not allowing me to get, uh, get there. That's fine, though. Let's go ahead and connect you to the school over here, and let's connect, um, you're fine over here. What I could do is I could set this up. Like so. Easier access to the kindergarten, I think. And can we actually fit a good old-fashioned football field back here? Ah, uh, no. Looking like a no, folks. Oh, wait. We could put one down over here. That's not bad, actually. Like, it's tempting to put down a tennis playgrounds because they're a little bit smaller. But uh, I believe tennis is a symbol of the West. So we're going to stick with a football. Fun fact, now I don't know how true this is, I actually have been meaning to verify this, but apparently one of the things that led down the path of the Cuban Missile Crisis uh, was an individual seeing football fields in Cuba and uh, and and making the connection, I think, that, that Russians play football or something like that. I, I can't remember the details. I heard this a long time ago. Again, unverified, don't quote me. Fun fact, though. All right. Resume. And what we're going to do is get all of you folks to go to this bus stop over here. As soon as this is all built up, we'll get you guys going to this bus stop. And we'll have plenty of workers to keep everything busy. Send you here. Have you going over here. And have you going over here. Cool. So those bus stops are going to be filled up. Then once the bus comes down to here, we will tell people to go... The train platform, not too many of them. Here, here, oh. Okay, just forgot to put a rope down here. Very worried that my master plan had shattered. There we go. The train platform will take some people. The distillery, I think, doesn't need that many people. 100 people in the distillery, 170 over here, and 50 over here. Okay, so the slaughterhouse needs the least people. Let's try that kind of a split and see if that works for us. And then once you get on the train here, the train will take you all the way over to here. And you need to go to work over here. Nice. All right, cool. Now, things are done. So let's go ahead and get a couple of mechanisms for our agro farm. Uh, we need to... This will largely be automated, actually, which is amazing. Uh, we need to get some tractors yeah, for you and four harvesters as well. And then when the time comes, actually, I should just do it because I'll forget. Otherwise, we'll want some trucks as well. And the cool thing is that this is all, like I said, like I think I said, automated. So, two of those. Maybe let's get some more tractors. Another tractor and another harvester. Because now, as you can see, all these little vehicles are going to go out. They're going to head on in and they're going to start taking care of uh, of the fields all by themselves. They don't need any people, which is a little weird to me. I don't know how so much automation is possible in this era, but hey, so be it. So they're going to do this. It'll take a long time to get crops coming. And, uh, and once the crops do come, why don't we have any electricity back over here? Oh, hey, we don't have any electricity down over here at all, do we? No, I need to get power lines down here. Fair enough. Not going to be too difficult. Um, but yeah, so it does take a long time for the crops to get uh, up and running. So we'll have to import some crops in the meanwhile. Now, let's go ahead and get power supplies down over here. I'm not sure why this loop isn't getting any power. Might be because the depot is blocking it. Um, power. 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 There we go. Put it down. Put it down somewhere over here. It's a pretty tight corner. Nothing else will be able to fit, so might as well do it. Advantage of the space. And what we'll do is we'll run... Our wire. Mm, I'm wondering if I if I pull a separate one over. Might not be a terrible idea. Other option is, of course, to 
uh, demolish, say... Are these not done building? They look like they're not done building. Very weird. Go ahead and get you done. Let's destroy this over here. Because we'll get another switch. Uh, like... So... We'll give it a road connection later. Go ahead and connect you here. Oh, really? And let's get you demolished here. Connect you like... So, then you... Go over here and we want to minimize the wasted space. Go right next to the tracks there. Get you to round the bend. I wonder how dangerous it is having an electrical track right next to an electrical, um, like, wiring like this. All right, we've got you all the way over to here. We're going to get you over the tracks and into the substation. Nice. Okay. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. And hopefully, once that's done being constructed, we'll have power in this back loop as well. I'm not seeing it, and that makes me nervous. Oh, that's very weird. I've done a similar thing before when I was trying to familiarize myself with the game, and it worked back then. Other option, of course, is to actually get another one of those powering systems back over here, which might be better in the long run. For now, though, let's see if it works for us as it is. Uh, we're going to buy ourselves a couple of electrical locomotives. You go at 160, you go at 160. Your empty weight is higher, though, and your engine power is also higher, so you should have better pickup? I don't know how trains work in this sense. Everything else is pretty slow. We want the fastest trains. Let's go ahead and give ourselves... You know what? You're cheaper. Let's be cheap for now. So we want two trains. Now technically the locomotive should be on both sides, right? So let's try and be realistic here. Unless I'm mistaken. I believe it should be on both sides. Uh, or do you just have the one on the front? This really exposes how little I know about trains. Uh, passenger wagon, we've got uh, 115, 125, 110. I feel like 125, it's lighter, should have better pickup. Let's do that, we just need the one for now, we're not bringing that many people here. And the other train will need... Will need what? Cargo. Uh, a boxcar, I think. Ooh, see, we have refrigeration. We should be able to move meat on a train. I don't understand. I, maybe I missed something, or maybe it's a technology that's available later on. I don't know. Uh, all right, let's stay focused here. So the boxcar will help us move crops from our farmland over to our food processing area. It can also carry food and alcohol for export if necessary. Oh, it can also carry livestock. Okay, beautiful. So just the one box car for now, because it can carry quite a bit. Do I need a... Let's go ahead and get two, just in case. All right. Well, that's that. Now, the passenger train will go from... Uh, also, there's been an update. You can now copy schedules between two, uh, two vehicles, simplifying things. Right, so the passengers are not going to be picked up here first. Passengers are going to be picked up over here. And we're only going to let on workers because we only want workers to come down to here. Okay, that's that path set up. Now the cargo train, you are gonna start over here. You're gonna load 100% of anything. No, just 100% of crop and livestock. Okay, then you're gonna go all the way over to here. And you're going to unload 100% of crop and livestock. And I could, Un until I set up my export network, I'm not going to have it load stuff. Because you can make it load stuff as well. Um, but later on, we'll make it load food and alcohol. And take it over to, I think, up over there and export it. We should be able to make a decent bit of money from that. Alright, so that's looking pretty good, though. I think I'm good to hit start on these trains. Oh, you know what? No. I still need uh, a bus system. We're going to get a couple of these chavs. And we'll get you to start here and drop people off here. And we're going to copy that to 
this vehicle. You have to like click on it over here. Trying to learn. Boom, done. Nice. Okay, nice and easy. We'll go down there, pick people up, drop them off over here. Lots of people coming to work at all of these little factories and stuff. Let's go ahead and start you. No reason to wait, I think, with these guys. Wait, it's going to just take a second. And then down over here. Let's just get it. First stop is unreachable from current vehicle position. Why? Okay. Getting getting funny with me, game. All right, let's go ahead and electrify this back area. Get this. I think we've got room back here. Yeah, we'll just do that. Um, go lay you down. Of course, I have to delete a little bit more. Life can't be easy. This is the Soviet Republic. All right, so we can drop you down right over here. Maybe should have done it with the road facing the other way. Actually, no, that's fine. Get this connection over here and over here, over here and over here. Excellent. And we want to get power coming through, of course, otherwise it's useless. Uh, so let's go ahead and demolish you and make you into a switch. Gonna switch down over here. Nothing's going to fit there. Switches are pretty big. Put you down over here. Like so. Kind of a messy setup. Starting to lose that neatness that I worked so hard to get. Get you there. Get you... Here. And get you to go all the way across. There we go. There we go. And boom. Done. Alright, nice. Hit play again. I wonder if it's my uh my lights that I've set up that are causing trouble for my trains. Why are you not getting power? Can't possibly need to set uh hold on, let me check something here. I don't think it's this, but I'll if I know. Nope, it's not that. This is worrisome. Tried leading the track. Oh yeah, hey, you know what? Maybe it's just not getting enough power output from the um, power plant. Oh, don't you dare too sharp a turn me. Game. There we go. Okay, beautiful. Working. Working. Let's go ahead and get these trains started. No, you can't reach your first position. You... <laughs> hey. How about now? Alright, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So you're moving. You're going to be empty, though, unless I buy some grain to start us off manual purchase please let's just get 170 tons to kick things off let's make sure the system's working trains coming around this way it's going to get up over there and pause for a second why first stop is unreachable should be able to go over and around maybe i need to have a crossing down over here Sounds right. You down. Like so. There we go. As you can tell, colors apart in this darkness. Alright, now, how about now? No, first stop is unreachable. Ow. Ow. Alright, let's go ahead and cancel some of these semaphores that I've got set up. I feel like they're not helping my cause. I feel like they're just causing confusion. 
All right, beautiful. Beautiful. Everything's okay. Come on, trains. I want to have these trains running. Oh, there it is. All right, so it was those semaphores. All right, so this train is going to arrive over here. It's going to pick up some cargo. Yeah, you can see the crops are getting loaded on. No livestock to be had here just yet. We do need to get a truck moving stuff over. And this train is going to keep going that way. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a covered hull truck. That'll take food from our grain storage to our... There, there you go. All right, let's begin you. You're going to get going and let's follow this train on its night journey. The, um... The rear locomotive is also pointing forward, so that was maybe dumb. I'm pretty sure you have one on either end, right? Because if you have to go the other way, it's not like you just pick up a train and turn it around. Or look in reverse through the whole time. Anyway, <laughs> let's pay attention here. The train is arriving. It's staying on this side of the track. Alright. Gonna go over. It's gonna arrive at the passenger's platform over here. And this is where people would get loaded on if there were any over here. I think I see a bus arriving, actually, just a little too late. It is carrying passengers. Don't carry passengers from here. Just workers. I wonder if I could tell you... Well, It's fine, you're fine. That's going to come back this way and... Oh, oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. See, this is a problem. That's not how trains work. So you're going to now turn around. You're both going to turn around. You're going to go back. See, so this is what I mean by the trains being a little confusing. All right. Let's go ahead and send you back where you came from. And let's send you back to there. All right. Separate them a little bit. And I feel like if I put some semaphores down. Semaphore? Semaphore. Semaphore, yeah. Down over here, we should be able to solve the situation. And oh, hey, from the bus stop come a bunch of passengers. Uh, pause it after we get across the line there. Okay, now let's just check. You're not loading any, and you're not loading any passengers or students. They don't need to come down here. And two workers waiting. We need more workers over here. Okay, so from this side, from... From this side, we're going that way, right? And on this side, we're coming this way. Right? That makes sense. The lights seem to make sense as well. So we'll see if that works. We're going to tell you to go your destination and tell you to go your destination. And let's see if we figure this out. And hopefully that coal power plant is still sending power out because it's looking like, yeah, it should be. All right, moment of truth, I think. Are you, are you turning around? Turn around. That train is just confused. It also doesn't have any power for some reason. Why are you confused, man? Because you want to be on that side? Well, why do you want to be on that side? Okay, you want to be on that side? Okay, fine, fine, fine. I can work with that. I can work with that. We're pausing. Have you turned around yet? Yeah, you have. Okay. What I can do is I can build track. Come on. Game knows exactly what I want. There we go. Okay, now do you know how to get there? Because this train's going to come through. And it's going to stop over it. Why did the... Why? But it's red now and you're moving. And you're staying on this side. Alright, let's see what happens. So you get up to there. This light's green. That light's red. This is still a question mark, but also no electricity. But we have electricity. But it just doesn't want any. And now this train's stuck. Oh, no, there we go. Okay, let's see what happens. This train's coming over from there. Is it going to cross over? Because it sure as hell needs to. Ooh, it is going to cross over. And once it crosses over, is this light going to turn green? Next big question. Is it? Is it? No, it's, it's not. 
not. Guys. How do trains work, guys? Is it- is this what I want to do? Because now we've got an empty train going that way, and a train full of crops coming this way. Seems to- seems to make sense, actually. Anyway, so let's look at this. So this- this cargo train arrives now. Oh, that's so neat. These actually go down. That's cool. Alright, didn't notice that before. But the cargo train arrives over here. It's gonna start dropping cargo. Yeah, and we've got people working here already. They're already turning the crops into food, and you're turning nothing into nothing. Did you not bring any livestock with you? Right, we don't have any livestock yet. Because crop needs to be turned to livestock. What about over here? Yes, crops being turned to alcohol. Boom, baby, it works. It all works, except for the tracks themselves. They're a little funny, as we've seen. Uh, but people are going back and forth. I, I need to figure out the semaphores. I need to figure out how that actually works. But this is pretty neat. Now, is this bus arriving with workers? It is. These are all workers as well. No, these are passengers. Why are passengers getting on this train? How are passengers coming here? It should just be workers. Maybe that was from a previous batch or something. We're just roaming around. Anyway, that train's out. It switches over to this side. The light is red for some reason. Why would it be red? It's on this side. Where's the cargo train? I mean, where's the passenger train? The passenger train's on this side. It's going up. It's going up. It's going up. All right. Go ahead and keep her eyes on you, buddy. A little sparking is a nice bit of character. Okay. We might be... I think I need to add another semaphore down the line. Because the way these signals work, unless I'm mistaken, is... Oh my god, what are you doing? Oh, we made it. We made it. Nobody died. And that train is on its way as well. Very cool. Very cool. The way semaphores work, though, is I think they base themselves on signals down the line as well. So I'll need to add another one maybe at this bend or something. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, this is where we're going to call it a session, I think. Gone just a little bit over that hour mark. I do like to keep these an hour long. If you've been enjoying the series, make sure you let me know. Drop a like, drop a comment. Uh, you know, for the glory of the Soviet Republic, let me know how you're liking it. And I'd like to keep this going, obviously. We've got power, we've got crops, we've got food, we've got alcohol. The bedrock of society. We've got livestock being turned into good old-fashioned red meat. And uh, next session, I think I'm going to focus on getting our export network set up with these goods. And then maybe we can start clothing our citizens. I sincerely hope you've been enjoying. If you had, like I said, drop a like, drop a comment, let me know. A massive thanks as always goes out to each and every one of my channel members and patrons who support this channel on a monthly basis. Thank you ever so much. And of course, a massive thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, das Vidanya.